Hi guys, I just wanted to share a little journal that I made for one of the girls on Junk Journals Down Under Facebook group. And what she was after was just a little oriental themed journal, but one that wasn't embellished because she's going to embellish it herself. So that was really hard for me because uh, um, I find it hard to leave pockets empty and everything. I, I really want to tuck something into it. But um, this is the little book I used. I think it was 17 centimetres down and 10 centimetres across from memory. And it did have a really beautiful spine. This was the original spine. But um, the book was really old and... Um, when I was pulling it apart, when I was gutting it, um, it, it was really brittle. And this particular one had a little tiny split down here, which I was going to repair. Um, but as I gutted it, yeah, it, it just cracked the whole way up. It, it's just so brittle, like it's just crumbling. So um, it's a shame because this had the cute little ridges and everything on it. And I thought just the little patterns and that were... We're really good for a little oriental themed journal. Anyway, I I just made my own spine and I've used this really pretty trim with some gold thread, little gold flowers. Um, I didn't put a permanent closure because I'm not sure how she's going to use this journal. So what I've done, I've just put some red, red fabric with some... Little beads that I thought kind of looked oriental style. So that just slips off the top. Now I'll try and be quick for this because this is actually the third video I did. The first video took forever to upload to YouTube. And then when it finally got there, it was stuck on 75% forever. And then when it finally got uploaded... There was no sound for some reason. I don't know why, where my sound went to. Um, but yeah, no sound. So I had to reshoot it. And then the second video I did, um, when I was watching it back to see if I said anything stupid, which I always do anyway, and I always keep the video. So I don't know why I check for stupid things. But um. I noticed that I didn't have my band-aid on and you could see my big gaping gash here. So I thought I better not, I better not upload that video. I'll reshoot it. Okay, so this is take number three and um, fingers crossed I'll get through this one. Okay, so this is a little book. I left the cover plain because um, I didn't want to cover up the gold pattern. I thought it was really cute. It's plain on the back. It's actually a lot darker, a, a lot darker red than it appears um, on camera for some reason. It looks really bright when I'm looking at it on camera. Okay, so okay, the inside, this was the original end papers. It's, per, it's a really light purple, pink purple with some gold pattern, which I thought was really, really pretty. So I so I left those two pages and that's just a little lace pocket there. So I'll just use this to show you where the pockets are. Like I really want to tuck something in there because I hate leaving empty pockets. I, I, I'm going to love to see what um, she does with it because I, I really like to see how people use stuff that I make, whether it's a little tag or, you know, um, trim or or journal I, I love to see what they do with it okay so this is just a cotton doily some pretty pattern paper look how pretty that is so nice it's really thick as well this was actually out of a tourist magazine There's a little pocket there. Shoulder with some fabric. Music paper.
this little tab I'll just show you look how cute that is and do you know what that is that is I don't know if it says anything but um I cut all of these off there are about five or six on one box of prawn dumplings because I love prawn dumplings so I don't know if it says anything but they're so cute so I, I cut them all out and I've been using them for little bits here and there. Thought I could make some little tiles or something out of them. Flower paper, some ribbon. This is pretty thick, this paper. This was in, um, it came as packaging for something, I can't remember what, but thought it was really cute little pattern. Oh, that's a bit of fabric that I've covered over. Um, had a nice picture of mountains and it's got Asian writing there. But um, there was a picture of two grannies. <laughs> two grannies standing there. And um, yeah, it, it looks a bit ugly. Not the grannies, not the grannies, but the way they were standing, they had their backs to the camera and, um, I don't know, it must have been a windy day when they took the photo, but it was a bit of an ugly picture. So I just covered that with some pretty picture, pretty flower fabric, pretty fabric flowers. Okay, there's another little pocket there, stitched top and bottom. Some yellow coffee dyed paper. This is actually not as bright as well than appears on camera. I don't know why it looks so fluoro on camera now, but it's a lot darker in real life. Just some frayed fabric down the edge of it. This was out of a little old book from the 60s on Malaysia. That's the Singapore map. And this is actually a pocket up the top. Oh, I can't do anything with these fingers and sprained wrists. So there's a pocket there, and it's a deep one. That's actually the centre of the signature, so the strings are hidden in the middle. And what I normally like the deep pocket for is you just get a long flower card or something back it with coffee dyed paper and just glue or stitch a bit of fabric on the top so that when you put it in you can pull it in and out of the um, pocket really easy it's another pocket there it's a little pocket there and in here, I've just put a little Qantas, because I think she's going to use this for traveling. Um, so I've just put a little Qantas luggage tag. That's a real luggage tag. It's actually really old. It was my grandmother's when she traveled to Italy years and years ago. And it fits just perfect in there. You can cut that off if you want, that little elastic. So this is um this book this is out of some um Chinese I think it's Chinese book. Bit of fabric. So I've tried to um give a lot of writing space as well. This music paper, I think I um, baked it in the oven too long that day, so it's really crunchy and crispy and a bit brittle, so I've just put some washi tape down the middle of it, just in case it cracks. They're just some little... Um, you know when you paint something, you've got leftover bits of paint? I always just... Um, I've got some book pages 
a side that I always just use up the extra paint with. So that's just a squidge flower with <laughs> leftover paint that um, I've just used it as a little tab to open the page. It's another little pocket there. I love the Chinese writing. I think it's Chinese. I don't know. I'm probably wrong, but look how cute it is. Okay, so that's the end of the first signature. So it's got two signatures in total. And this music paper is um, Asian as well. It's so gorgeous. This one's really heavy coffee dyed. Another little pocket there. Paper doily. Look at this little image here. Isn't that cute? I love their little pictures. So cute. So that's, sorry, it's a bit glary because that's a magazine page. It's Asian writing there as well. This is actually um, some coffee dyed security envelope. So it was a really large envelope. And when you cut it open, you get you know, a page and a half of really pretty pattern paper. And it comes up really nice when you coffee dye it. This is from a vintage cookbook. So Oriental Crab Omelette. It's really thick and brittle and, you know, when it gets that really dry feel to it. And that's all natural ageing, that, that colour. That's actually another pocket here. So this is the centre of the second signature. That was just a little scrap of when I trimmed down one of the little um, flowery pages for this book. And I, I just didn't want that to go into my crap box because my crap box is overflowing at the moment. Little prawn from that recipe. Some lace. Just a little cardboard heart. Fabric. That's the end, and there's a little pocket there. Okay, so I hope I didn't um, embellish it too much. I really tried hard not to. <laughs> it was killing me. <laughs> I really, I really, really want to put something in the pockets, but um. What I'll do is, with this, I'll send a little embellishment. Um, just some little papers and odds and pods that she can... She's already got some embellishments. That's why she wanted just a plain journal. But um, I'll put some of those cards in. <laughs> some of my little cutouts from my prawn dumpling box. A little flower. I don't know what that is. You can glue that in. It's cute. Little red heart. This is, um, it's not leather, it's uh, vinyl. Red vinyl. 
these are, I think these were little origami papers. Oh, it's a little gold leaf. And this is a little origami lady. Look how cute. I don't know where I got this. Um, I've had it forever, but I thought it was so cute. So she can put that little lady in. Some pictures. Oops. This is from a desk calendar. But um, those are pictures of Singapore. And it tells you a little bit about Singapore there population and all of that sort of stuff these were just some coffee dyed scraps from you know when you trim the pages thought you could make some little i don't know little notepads or something to go in the book that's the scrap of the envelope and i had a few pages left over it's like a little picture of a passport or something. You could cut that out, back it onto some cardboard or thick paper and use it as a journal card. Little happy tourists. Oh, that was some leaves. It's one of the pictures in the Chinese book. of a travel visa looks like he was traveling to France in that one so some little pictures you can cut out and the writing the writing is so gorgeous it's really good for backgrounds it's the um, end of that Singapore map and oh, <laughs> these these have nothing to do with the Oriental Journal. Um, I just know this girl was. Um, I think she's going to make a teddy bear journal or some. I don't know. She was doing something with teddy bears, and um, I found some pages in a in a book which had all these little teddy bears and quotes. So <laughs> I thought I'll chuck that in so she can use it in her teddy bear journal. Look at that! Isn't it cute? But anyway, that's it. I hope she likes her little journal. I think it turned out really super cute. I wish I didn't ruin that original spine, but came out nice anyway. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.